The controversy centers on the UN's Relief and Works Agency. It was created after the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, and in the latest conflict that we've seen here, the agency has been a crucial source of humanitarian aid in Gaza, where they employ about 13,000 people. But over the weekend, this agency has become embroiled in controversy after Israel accused 12 agency staffers of being involved in the October 7th attack. This organization portrays itself as humanitarian. They call itself a relief and welfare organization. But it, it, its relationship with Hamas is far from incidental. Mark Regev, a senior advisor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, expressing concerns about these brand new accusations. Although so far, neither Israel nor the UN agency have shared how exactly these staffers were involved in the attack. On Sunday, the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, announcing that nine of the 12 staffers have now been fired. The Secretary General is horrified by this news. The UN spokesman announcing that they're now investigating whether anyone else was involved. Any UNRWA employee shown to have participated or abetted in what transpired on October 7th or in any other criminal activity be terminated immediately and referred for potential criminal prosecution. The controversy prompting many Western countries to pull their support for UNRWA. Canada, the UK, Germany, and the organization's biggest donor, the US, have all paused their funding. UNRWA's Commissioner General, Felipe Lazzarini, calling the pauses in funding shocking, writing in part, it would be immensely irresponsible to sanction an agency and an entire community it serves because of allegations of criminal acts against some individuals. This is the situation in Gaza remains dire. The Hamas-run health ministry saying that more than 26,000 Palestinians have been killed since the start of the war, as Israel focuses its campaign on the southern city of Khan Yunus. Like every country, Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. Israel's embattled Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying that their military continues to follow international law. We will continue to do what is necessary to defend our country and defend our people. The UNRWA allegations came on the same day that the UN's top court ordered that Israel must act immediately to prevent genocide in Gaza, although that court stopped short of calling for a ceasefire. All this showing the at times frosty relationship between Israel and the United Nations. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.